here is the gas burner I'm going to work on this the problem with this one as you can see uh, this smaller uh, burner side uh, it is not working uh, it is not working at all and this is gas burner of course and this bigger one just I repaired a few days back and it's, it works very well and this one at the moment is not working so we are going to make a repair on this one the problem with these is here this wall this gas wall this is sometimes uh, they are telling the name rail cock or something like that uh, this is going defective which is installed over here under this knob uh, so we are going to replace that and this knob is also broken we are going to install this knob later on this new knob and this new wall we will we will be installing and uh, what is the precaution with this one if you are going to purchase this one this is a very very much cheap units uh, you can purchase one uh, for a dollar or something like that so the precaution with this one is you should have some cloth uh, some small cloth you should have to cut and then put it in put the switch in the on position now it is in the off position while we will rotate it now it come to on position it is open now inside and then take this cloth and put it in with a small screwdriver inside just rotate it a little bit so that it should be rotated in the cloth completely inside it should be rotated and it should clean the grease which they put in so this is very much important if the grease will be there it will be restricted and you will not get the proper gas flow and the burner will not switch on properly so you will be in difficult situation uh, in such a case if it is and here also we have to do the very same thing with this valve so all these two passages which is from here to here the gas passage is, passage is so we will have to clean it and the other thing is inside these threads you can see uh, there is a nozzle or uh, there, there, there is a small nozzle with a small aperture this will be fixed over here and that nozzle is not available at the moment you can see and that nozzle is inside this uh, older valve we will remove it and we will fix it so the way we have to remove a small tools you need some tools tools of course you need and the first thing first is we have to remove this knob from and to remove this knob you have to bring it in position so that it should be in your front and then lose this screw here is a screw actually and uh, that screw here in this unit you can see there is a screw so this screw we will be unscrewed and then we will remove it from then this way the knob will come off so as this knob is also not very good in shape we we'll have to look at this screw and then remove it with a small screwdriver yeah now it's grabbed so by this way just gently open it and wiggle it a little bit so that the screw will come off the screw is there inside you can see and it came off now is the time to remove things from uh, first of all we have to remove this nut uh, using a bigger uh, pliers we have to grab this nut and remove it from so by this way just you grab this nut and remove it from so as you can see this nut removed now is the time to remove items from first we will remove this sometimes there are uh, screws here you have to open I already opened that before so now this opened it very easily and it came in pieces you can see so this was broken and make a little bit space here in this rail but we will gently make a space and it needs a little bit muscles to do this job because without making a space in you cannot put the new rail tail in or the cock or whatever this wall so make a little bit force here and then it will come off as you can see now and same way while we will put it it will need too much force so this way we have to unscrew this thing you can see using our pliers and tools we can unscrew this thing
as this is running hot so that's why it's a little bit difficult to remove it from its place anyhow let's come off So this way it came off as you can see. So this unit is now is the time to remove this uh, nozzle from as I said that there is a nozzle here is the nozzle so we will remove this nozzle from the older unit you can put a new one also this is your choice but my choice is I will use I will reuse this older one because they are not going defective the aperture is open you can see it is opened already and it has no problem to use it and we will make a little bit threading on you can use teflon, te teflon tape or anything which is available with you but my teflon tape I don't know where it is now so that's why I'm using this thread this is readily available okay so now this much thread is okay and we will grab the new unit the new valve or uh, rail cock so we are going to thread this thing on this uh, nozzle on this new one so now it is okay there is no big pressure on but small pressure will be there the gas pressure that's why we are putting this thread on and here of course we will do the same thing uh, with the other threading part and this also we will have to remove it from we will keep it side and uh, here we will put a little bit thread to prevent any leakage leakage is not good because this will waste the gas which is not a desired thing so here it is now is the time to fix this so same way we will thread it in this pipe or in this rail and remove the old parts and then just gently we will put this in because this is new unit So this is okay now is the time to fix this in its place it is again a little power job so you will put a little body power on to carry on this job now we will put this nut on and we'll tight it with the pliers Just tighten it now is the time to fix this knob if this knob will come yeah this is okay this is a big knob we will fix it new one so now we are going to fix this knob in uh, we will fix this screw over here put it in and then we'll track it and we'll tight the screw inside so it's important that we have to track it on its hole so that it will be hold in yeah now it's grabbed in inside it's easy to fix it now so this way I was able to fix it so it needs a little bit force in and then switch on same as the ordinary burners are so something like that now is the time to fix other parts which we just removed it from in this part here you can see these two holes later on I will fix two nut bolts small nut bolts over here 
while, while I will bring them before there was there were some screws which had been burnt and they, they, they are no more so the nut bolt we will fix and here downside we will fix it in like this but at the moment we can use it and we can test it without screws even just it should be in proper orientation this is important so these items we will fix it we fix them over here like this and this one also we will have to fix uh, so this way it had been fixed now I'm going to test it I will show you a little bit testing on you should have to open the gas valve now we will uh, switch on switch on this unit so as you can see now it's burning and now it's burning very well you can see and there is a control so control is there you can see small big flame and medium flame any type of flame we can control it and it's gently controlling so this was a repair on this unit we just made and hope this video will serve you as this is a very very much common household service and repair on such burners uh, so keep on watching stay tuned subscribe and like if you like this video please give a big thumb up, thumbs up